Welcome back to the camera, guys. Where are we at, Ransom? We're trying to make it. Where are we at? At Lowe's. At Lowe's. Hold on, guys. There's a car coming. Hold my hand. All right. You want to vlog by yourself now? So we're going to Lowe's. Tell them what we're going to get, Ransom, at Lowe's. Um, I hear my gecko, guys. What are we going to get? Um, lumber. For what? And for a chicken coop. We are? Yeah. So, I'm going to show you guys. So, that's the things. Look at those. Gross. Those are kind of awesome. They got all kinds of stuff that here, don't they, Rachel? Yeah. What are you going to get? Um, a snack. Show them. Show them that over there. Turn it around. Is that what you want? Yeah. Uh -uh, not right now. Come on, we gotta go get our stuff first. After, after, after. That, that, that's the one that I have in my room. Yep. Show them. Ah, so that's the little one. Yeah. Come on, let's go get our lumber. No, so there's a little one in the. What are you gonna call the new chicken coop? You decided on the name yet? Um, Booster Camp. Rooster Camp? Yeah. Ransom said Rooster Camp is going to be the name of the new chicken coop. No, Daddy's got to get a cart first. Here, you hold this. A big cart? What are those carts you need? Uh, can, I, can, yeah. I, can I ride on one? No, I don't think so. Here, here. Daddy, can I ride on it? So Ransom and I are down here at Lowe's because we got to get some lumber for the new coop. Yeah, we to, have to be super quiet. We have to be, we don't have to be super quiet. There's not very many people wearing masks in this Tahlequah Lowe's. I've been wearing mine, but um, not very many are wearing them here. But we're going to try to find some lumber, and I'll see if I can show you guys the prices when we get it. Okay, Ransom? Yeah. Ransom, you like riding on that cart? Yeah. You better get on your feet. So Ransom loves to ride on that cart. One of his favorite things to do. I don't see a sign on it anywhere that says don't ride, so I'm letting him right now. So I saw some number two, uh, two by four treated down here. I didn't see a price on it, so I'm gonna get a price on that and I will uh, pass that along. So right here, two by four by 92 and five eighths. I need some, well, they're not. 584. Give me one, but I'm gonna show you. Hey, why don't you do something, boy? What? No, let me help. Huh? Why may help? Or, or stand over there and get Daddy load them up. Okay. Uh, That's good. Now so turn around. Hold it real still. There you go. Look at you. How many do we need, Ransom? Uh, maybe eight. How about two? Yeah, two. There's five. Let's see five more, okay? Yeah, five more. So one other thing that I remembered that we need from Lowe's is a moisture meter. So, so a moisture meter, um, I've been wanting to get one of these for whenever we burn firewood. A moisture was supposed to be below 20%. I've always wanted to make sure it was the correct moisture. So we're going to pick up one today and hopefully it'll help out. You gonna hey, carry it? Hey guys, don't look at our seat. What is it? A little blower. You got, uh, there's a little blower? Huh. So. I want that on my birthday. Ransom said he wants that on his birthday. He spotted a little blower. It's a cobalt. I don't have any cobalt batteries, buddy. Maybe daddy can see a little Dewalt, okay? Okay. That, that would go with the batteries I got? What do you think, would that work? Yeah. I have a gas powered blower. It's a little bit loud for Ransom. Where do you go when I turn on the blower? In the house. Are you scared of it? Yeah. Yeah, you're scared. So, so, I, need, so I need a little one. All right, so we've got 10 two by fours, a couple treated, three treated. We're ready to go. All right, Ransom? Yep, ready to rock Hey, Ransom, what do they do if I like our channel? Subscribe, hit that vocation, and God bless. We'll catch up with you guys later.
Oh, it's boards. You gonna help me unload it? Eh, I'll pass. Come on. We made it back out to the shop and this is the next day and as you can see I lost one helper but I gained another one. So Ransom is spending the night with his cousin and he's not going to be able to help us today but luckily I've got Ranger to come out and help us along. So we went ahead and got our boards unloaded and I'm going to show everybody real quick kind of what I have in mind and we're going to go ahead and try to get uh, the walls framed up today. So let's head back here to the back of the trailer so I can show you guys exactly what I'm thinking and kind of give you an idea of what we're going to do here on the conversion of a horse trailer to a chicken coop. Ranger, what did you have to go get? Gloves. You had to get gloves because it's about 40 degrees outside and our hands were freezing. I had my gloves on. You got yours on now? But we'll go ahead and get into the back of this chicken coop. So. Here's our plan. First of all, this door is actually going to stay on. I'll go ahead and open it up so you guys can see inside. And this door, Ranger, you want to help me real quick? What? We're going to try to steady that. Can you can you hold it right here for me? Ready? Oh, that door is really heavy. It probably weighs about at least 80 pounds, if I had to guess. I can pick it up. Huh? You guys think Ranger can lift it? I'd say it probably weighs more than you, buddy, but you want to give it a try? Go for it. Can he lift his own body weight? Oh, Mr. Strongman. He can lift it. Good job, Ranger. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way. So we got that door out of the way because I am going to frame a wall up across the back here and just one wall with maybe... A stud on each end and one in the middle. So the plan is, Ranger, what's the plan? To make a chicken door here. So we are going to make, down there by Ranger's boot, we're going to have a door for the chickens to go in and out and we'll frame it up the same size as our automatic door in case we want to add one later. And we'll also put some nest boxes down here. So we'll probably have a nest box right here and one right here um, up off the ground just a little bit. So we'll also build a frame right here um, by this window so we can put some wire um, over here and then we'll be able to close these up so it will be a uh, window in the summertime and it'll be closed off in the wintertime. So that's the plan. What's left, Ranger? What's left to do now? Make it. Yeah, so now we got to get to work. Uh, one thing that you might be wondering, uh, what about the floor? Could it get rotted out? The good news is there's already rubber mats down on the floor that should work perfect for um, scraping off uh, any kind of shavings and uh, manure that, that lands in there. So the floor, as you can see down there, already has rubber mats. So we looked out there, and by taking that door off and setting it to the side here in the shop, so anytime we need to convert this back into a horse trailer, it will be really easy. All we'll have to do is remove the temporary walls we built inside and it will be good to go. So are you ready to get to work, Ranger? Yeah. What do you say when you say it's time to get to work? Let's get to it. That's right. And today Ranger is going to help. Uh, he's going to cut some boards by himself for the first time. Have you ever cut any before? No. Not on this saw. So I might have let him use a smaller saw, but today he gets to try out the big saw. Uh, it's just me and him, 
because Cassie is bringing Mazzy and Ransom over to their aunt's house to stay the night for um, with their cousins. So they're excited about that, aren't they, buddy? Mm -hmm. So that's where they're at. You may be wondering where are the other two at. So they're over there, and Ranger's going to help me. We made our mark for our bottom, our first bottom uh, plate. So if you pull it down, don't don't pull the trigger yet. We pull this down. Okay. Now you can see a little closer. Oh, right there. See how that mark mm -hmm. lines up? Okay. So now come over here and stand on this side of the saw. Okay, since you're right-handed, and you'll come down. Pull the, uh, pull the trigger. Good job. Awesome. Nothing's right there. Good job, buddy. So if you guys think Ranger did a good job on his first cuts, you leave him a thumbs up down in the comments below. But we'll go ahead and lay, start laying out our wall and go get a measurement for our uh, other boards. So to make sure we have the right size in case we add an automatic door later on, we want to go out here to the chicken coop and get an exact measurement. So while we're doing that, Ranger wanted to bring him some scratch. Did I just throw it on the ground? Uh, just spread it out all the way around the coop if you walk around it. everywhere yeah it's kind of shake a little bit out that works now I can walk to the other side and do about half of around there oh sorry that's good you had to pour it all out right there okay now the rest on this side and the rest on that side no the rest in the coop Oh, no, 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 we don't put any in the coop. We don't feed them in the coop. It's kind of our rule. There. So we got it all poured out. Ranger was going to put a little bit in the coop, but I told them we don't put any of our chicken feed in the coop. That way any mice and things like that, any kind of rodents, don't go in there. But now we'll go ahead and get a measurement on our automatic door so we have the exact size there. Ten inches. by an opening of 11. So Ranger wants to check for eggs. How many we got? One little eggy. Two little eggy. A green one? All. A blue one? No brown no, one? No, that's not all. A brown one. So the same we got yesterday? Let's see them, Ranger. Are they clean? Yeah. Are they warm? That one's kind of warm. That one's not warm. That one's... Okay, so one of them's fresh and the other two aren't. But it looks like they made a nice nest in here. Uh, if you guys remember that straw we just put in here a couple days ago, they already made a nice nest right where they wanted to lay. And they're good to go. Want to go check on the other side? So we got our back wall laid out, and Ranger's going to help drive the nails. Uh, we went ahead and put it up against the four wheeler tires to make sure we have something to push against while we're nailing. So I'll go ahead and do the first one and let him do the second one. Stand on this side where you can nail back to yourself, it'll be a lot easier. There you go. Where? Same where? Uh, right, just right here, like this, and nail back. Hang on just a second. Okay, go ahead. Good job, good job. All right, we'll come over here and do the same thing.
We got our first wall built, so we're ready to put it into the coop. And if you saw the stickers on the end of that board, you're going to say, man, he didn't even square the corners up. Well, I didn't square the corners up because this is a chicken coop. If we were building a piano, what would we do, Ranger? Square the corners. Yeah, we'd square the corners up. But this chicken coop, the chickens won't mind. We just need something to keep them in. And we hope this will do the trick. Pick it up pretty high. It fits like a glove. If it was any uh, tighter, it wouldn't have worked. So this door, we'll still be able to shut it. And then on this side, we will have our entry door for our chickens, and then we'll have one, two nest boxes. So some of you guys told me that if the nest boxes were way up high back in the back of the trailer, that they the freeze. chickens, the ranger said they'll freeze, but the chickens might want to roost up there. And you were right, I, the more I thought about it, we don't want them that high, we want them down lower, maybe about four or five inches off the ground. That way they have no desire to roost in them, but they might want to go in there and lay their eggs. So we got the first wall built. So now we'll go ahead and work on the second two walls, which is just going to stretch far enough back and here on the trailer to cover up the windows. And nesting boxes we might could put some fake eggs put some fake eggs like so this. they'll go in in there just to get them to lay in yeah that's a good idea bud but we'll go ahead and get those next two walls built and we'll probably meet back up with you when those two are done and let's get to it so we finished up the two walls ranger and i are going to get them inside all right so this wall is going to sit right here we're actually gonna we're actually gonna use screws on these. Uh, that way, if we ever need to take them apart, it'll be easy to take them apart and get them out of here. For us. There you go, right there. So our next step is to secure this board, this wall to the other wall, and again, we're just gonna do that with screws. So Ranger, can you push on this one to make it tight with the other one? Right there. And I want to keep an eye on it down here to make sure it stays nice and tight. So it sucked it right up. We'll do that about three places. So now we'll do the same thing on the other side. Good. Oh yeah. Good? Yeah. Okay. Now one last thing we might do is cut us the board to put in right here. Just to hold these apart. Okay? I have but a board that, that size. pretty good. So, so let's go ahead and take you guys in and show you around. Ready? Once upon a time, there was a horse trailer, and Mark of Arnfam turned it into a chicken trailer. Chicken trailer? That works. So, now you can see, we've got the frame up right there. So the next thing we got to do is go ahead and put in another board under here to have something to screw our wire to to keep any predators out. Uh, these will be windows in the summertime and then we'll close them up for the winter time. So we'll also add a little uh, door right there that can be hinged and be released. So I think that's all we're gonna do today because what do we gotta do, Ranger? 
feed the cows and all that. I gotta feed the cows. What do you gotta feed? Feed the rabbits. So Rangers gotta feed the rabbits. I gotta feed the cows. But adding those two walls really made that a lot stronger. And I like the way it's going. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any other ideas or you see something we're messing up on. I, I hope though that what we're doing is getting us on the right track at least to where we can close it up. So we can close up that side and now we have a frame to build out our windows and to build out our uh, chicken coop door, some nest boxes, and this door will be nice and stout. We might even move Ranger in there. Ah, help me! Kevin over at Hidden Heights Farm thought we were going to build a tiny, uh, tiny house on wheels. That'd be good. Which wouldn't be a bad idea, but I think I'd want to build it with a little bit of a bigger trailer, especially since we have five people that we need to fit inside a Actually. tiny house. But we thank you guys so much for following along. Uh, we are really having fun figuring out what our next scoop will be. When you don't have any blueprints to go off of, what do you do, Ranger? Just make it your own. Make it your own. So we're making it our own. We hope you have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, like this video, and comment if you've ever done this. Peace. Woo!